Hi all, in this video we will be discussing about one of the features provided by Lightning Data Service that is deletion of a record. We can create custom button and we can have criteria to it if that criteria is set to true or if that criteria satisfies then only a particular record will be deleted. But a delete button is provided by Salesforce that's the standard delete button but we cannot define any criteria on that button. We can just remove it from the page layout so no one can accidentally remove or delete that particular account record. So let's see the example. We have created a delete record button here and we have defined a condition. If the account industry is banking, then we cannot delete that particular account. So we will just click on this delete record. And as you can see, we have a warning like account with industry as banking cannot be deleted because the industry is banking. That's why this account, this account, we were not able to delete or has, has not been deleted. Uh, I will change the industry to anything else that is might be communications. And I will check the same thing. So the record was deleted and we, we were able to we were able to delete that record because now the record or the account record which we were trying to delete previously is not having the industry as banking okay so just see the so let's go to one and create one another account that maybe oh uh, abc limited I will save it and I will just go to industry and change it to banking and then I will try to delete it so we will get that or we got got that warning message again because the industry is now banking so it, to achieve this type of use cases we can use this delete uh, button which will be which will have some custom logic to it and we can define our business logic accordingly let's let's go to the code and see that so it's just that uh, it it will implements the post app post table and has record id to get the record id of that particular record then we have set some attributes and then the record data so we are using record data and in this we are just getting the record id then the set of fields which we want, want to use or which you which you uh, on which we will define some of the criteria then the target error and the target fields simple record is the object which we have created the type of that attribute is object then record updated uh, the record updated will be called when we click on that handle record handle delete record button that is this button delete record so we'll just call this class and the on on click event the handle delete record will be called so this is a division class and then we have this controller in the handle once the we click on handle delete record so this component will check if the industry is equal to banking and if it is equal to banking then they will show us this particular message on the screen and if it is other than banking then it will be able to or the component will uh, we will be able to delete that particular record so as you can see the code we have written the same like delete record so this is the standard function which we have to use component dot find record handler is the id of that aura this aura id is record handler and then we are using delete record then this is the standard get callback function delete result if delete result is equal to success then if you want to you can print that message uh, and if you want to do some custom logic once the record is deleted you can do that stuff also yeah so in, this was all about the deletion of a record using lightning data service and we don't have to use any server call here because it's provided by lightning data service okay thank you have a nice day